Uh, this doesn't seem right. Why? We ordered, we have a different room, like with lay down beds, and that is what I thought we had booked. Yes. Interesting. Okay. Oh, there is not much space. Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, my name's Ashton. I'm Jonathan. And along with our son, Jack, we're the Black Forest family. However, if you can kind of tell by our surroundings, we're not in the Black Forest at all. No, we're actually here in the Zurich Hauptbahnhof and we're gonna be taking one of the only night trains across Germany. Sleeper. Sleeper trains, night sleeper trains across Germany. <laughs> yeah, so in a weird way, we actually traveled south so that we could travel north because over the next 10 days, we're going to be exploring Hamburg, Bremen, and the northwest coast of Germany. And to get there, we're gonna be taking one of the Austrian-owned night jets, the Ubebe. Yeah, so we get that traveling with a toddler isn't always easy. So we're kind of hoping that by taking one of these sleeper trains, we'll not only arrive in Hamburg, hopefully a little bit rested, Maybe. but that it'll also be a really fun and new way to travel across Germany in something that is totally new for us. Yeah, we realized we could have just hopped on an ICE because they do have direct trains from Freiburg to Hamburg in about five, five and a half hours. But as Ashton said, we have a toddler who cannot sit still for more than 10 minutes. So we think having a <laughs> sleeper train doing this all overnight might be a better way. Yeah, we'll see. So let's go ahead and try to figure out where exactly our train is yeah. and we'll tell you more along yeah, the way. Yeah, this place is huge. Okay. All right, so we normally try to take trains as often as we can. Like one example is we use rail and fly all the time when we go to Frankfurt to catch a flight. And similarly, when we're in the United States, we'll typically also take Amtrak to get from Chicago to my parents' house. But in all of the travels that we've done, we've never actually done long distance travel by train. Yeah, interestingly enough, Deutsche Bahn does not have a sleeper train through the night across Germany. So that's why we're right now in Zurich to catch an Austrian train to go across Germany. Yeah, so again, while you could take an ICE theoretically across Germany at night through Deutsche Bahn, you're probably not gonna get the most quality amount of shut eye. Especially with a small child. So again, it's actually pretty cool that the best way to get across the entire country of Germany overnight, hopefully well rested, is through Austrian railways or the UBB. Also guys, I should briefly mention why we're even heading to the north of Germany in the first place anyway. You see, while we call ourselves the Black Forest family, technically, if Jonathan and I were going to be true to our roots, we should actually call ourselves the nord Friesland family because both my family and Jonathan's family are from that exact region on the northwest coast. So while we won't be tackling it in today's video, over the next coming weeks, stay tuned for episodes where we actually explore our family roots that are tied not so long ago to right here in Deutschland. This doesn't seem right. Why? We ordered, we have a different room. Like with lay down beds, and that is what I thought we had booked. Yes. Interesting. Okay. Oh, there is not much space. Hey guys, welcome to our two sleeper sleeper cabin here on the night jet with direct service from Zurich all the way up to Hamburg. Let me show you around. So for starters, when you first come into your room, you're going to notice a couple of amenities that they provided. The first is a welcome drink with some water, which is always nice. But our attendant here on our car also brought us a couple of bottles of Sect, which I think might come in handy a little bit later this evening. In addition, they've also provided us with a welcome bag that includes slippers and a hand towel, another bottle of water in case you get thirsty, some trail mix, chocolate covered berries, earplugs in case you have a husband who snores, and some soap for later on. Now you could also book a deluxe cabin, which would have included a toilet, a sink, and a shower in your own cabin. 
Unfortunately, when we were booking, those weren't available any longer. So what we booked is a standard compartment. And in the standard compartment, you will still have your very own sink right here in the corner. And bathroom facilities, including a shower, are located in our car just down the hall. Now, you can also see that right now in our room, we just have this couchette. But later on this evening, our attendant will come by and convert this single couch into two beds. Now, granted, there are a number of different types of cabins that you could book with Austrian Railways. However, at the time that we booked ours, the only thing that was available was a two-room sleeper. So, unfortunately, I'm going to have to take one for the team and share a bed with a Tyrannosaurus toddler. Wish me luck. So, I should warn you, it does look like there is still only a single plug in this cabin, and it's behind the medicine cabinet located inside, which admittedly isn't very handy in 2022 if you want to charge your phone. And last but not least, there are a couple of other amenities in this cabin. For example, we actually do have our very own temperature control, hanger for your clothes, as well as an intercom where we can speak to an attendant at any time during our stay. But guys, I'm not going to sugarcoat it. We totally thought we booked a completely different room, and this one is a little cramped for three people, particularly when we're about to embark on a 10 day vacation and brought 10 days worth of luggage and luggage that includes that for a toddler. And any of you know, the smaller the person, it seems like the more stuff they require. So yeah, we're going to have to get a little bit creative tonight when it comes to figuring out where exactly we're going to store everything. So there's no Wi-Fi on this train. How do they not have Wi-Fi on this train? How is that possible? What do you think, Jack? It's crazy, isn't it? There's no Wi-Fi. Well, I mean, it's through the night. I guess that's not really that big of a deal. But if we had a longer train, then uh, I think that would actually become a problem. But a bit of a surprise, no Wi-Fi. So there's still many hours between now and breakfast, but they take care of your breakfast order pretty early on so that they can have everything ready in the morning. And the way breakfast works here on the night jet, if you book a standard compartment, is you actually get six selections from this menu. And honestly, it looks really tasty. From what we read online and what it looks like here, there's a lot of German and Austrian foods that are going to be available for breakfast. Everything from Frischkäse to Müsli, um, all the way down to bread rolls with butter or marmalade are available. In addition, you can also choose from a selection of teas and coffee. Coffee, which I have a feeling is going to be very necessary come 7 a.m. Yeah. Um, würden Sie uh, heute Abend abholen oder? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Und okay. wenn Sie fertig sind und ich bin da vorne, können Sie mich auch holen. Okay. Mitbringen, okay. Dass ich gut finde. Ich weiß nicht, wann geht's schon. Wunderbar. Uh, wollte ich noch sagen, ich komme ohne die Tüte die Bette. Okay. Super. Danke schön. Und wo ist die Dusche? I wanted to take a quick intermission in today's video to give you an exciting update about the Black Forest family. So if you've been following us for some time, you know that we aren't just here on YouTube, but we also have an entire website where you can go to learn about the topics we discuss on this channel or to just get additional information about living, working, studying, and raising a family in Germany. But if I'm gonna be 100% honest, our website could be better. So for the past two months, I've been behind the scenes completely rebuilding the website. So it's only right that I give a shout out to today's sponsor, Skillshare. I'm really excited to give you guys a quick glimpse of the website that we've been creating. Thanks to the one hour course on Skillshare called SEO Planning and SEO Optimization for New Websites by Jared Gardner, the VP of Digital Marketing at Sprinkler. So it was awesome to take a class by somebody who is an expert in their field, an expert SEO and digital marketing. And I am a complete novice at this. So SEO is absolutely critical for people to get the information they need or to even find you in the first place on Google search results. But I also loved that it was ad free. So I could stay in the zone while I was learning about how to best search for key phrases, how to tailor our content for life in Germany, and really learn how to harness the power of Google to share our content with new 
new readers. But thanks to my membership with Skillshare, I have unlimited access to an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes. And the classes I've had have been far more useful for website structure and SEO than any other resources that I've had in the past. So if you are interested in learning something new, Skillshare is the perfect place to start. From photography and illustration to graphic design, business advice for freelancing to cooking classes and gardening, you can find classes that will match your goals and interests taught by industry leading experts. So are you ready to give it a try? The first 1000 people to click the link in the description and sign up will get a first month free trial on Skillshare. It's been a really exciting experience and we hope to get the website launched at the end of this month so you can check out everything that we've been working on. Plus, new gear. So stay tuned and let's get back to the video. Okay guys, so while Jonathan is putting Jack to bed, I thought this was the perfect time for me to give you a full tour of the Austrian Railway night jet and tell you a little bit more about all of the different types of cabins sleeping arrangements, seating arrangements that you can book on this train. So now your first option is of course a sleeping compartment, which is what we went for. You can choose a single double or triple room. Although as you could tell from the beginning of this video, be a little wary because it seems like there could be a pretty significant difference between a double compartment from one night jet train to another night jet train. Now your next option is a compartment in what's called a couch at carriage. Now don't get me wrong, you'll still get a blanket, a pillow, and sheets just like the sleeping compartment. Except whereas we have more of a mattress to sleep on, the couch at carriage is going to be more like sleeping on a futon. Now prices on Ube based website say that this also includes something called a Viennese breakfast which is coffee, tea, one roll, butter, and jam, which is gonna be a smaller offering than what we showed you that we have in a sleeping compartment, which is a full six piece breakfast. And last but not least is the seating carriage, which if you're traveling across Europe as a family is by far and away the most affordable way to travel. This six person cabin with upright seats can fit up to three adults and a max of two children up to the age of 14 who again get their own compartment with six seats for a fixed price of just 99 euros per person. However, it should be noted that in this price, it does not include any food or breakfast. However, you can still purchase snacks once you're here on the train. Okay guys, so now for the not so glamorous bathroom review. Now I have to give a little bit of an edit to this video because earlier on we said that in our cabin, we would still have access to a bathroom that included a toilet and a shower. However, we were just informed by our attendant that that's a feature on a different night jet train, the one that we actually previewed what we walked on earlier that was on its way to Chechia. Uh, our train actually just includes a toilet, so there's no showering that's going to happen on this video today. But I have to say, I'm pretty surprised by the standard of the bathroom. To me, it feels a lot like an Amtrak train in the United States. It's nice and clean, but it's still pretty bare bones. Just a simple sink, toilet, your basic amenities. But again, very clean. I'm personally going to be particularly interested to see exactly what this bathroom looks like at the end of our journey. Because in my experience, no matter how nice the train is, whether you're on a German ICE train or even honestly on an airplane, the bathroom at the start of the journey versus the bathroom at the end of the journey can be two very different things. So I'll be sure to keep you updated. So Jack is All right, guys, so I think uh, with this little drink, it's time for us to do a little bit of relaxing on the sleeper night train. And um, we'll test out the beds and give you a full report in the morning. Hopefully we- They wake us up, I think, six hours, seven hours from now. Yeah, hopefully we'll have a pretty good report on the quality of the mattress and the quality of sleep. But until then, cheers, and uh, we'll good see night. you in the morning. Good night, everybody. Look out, here she comes The woman that I love Whoa. It's the 
about you, never you know. Yeah, I can't tell how I feel. Hey guys, good morning. It's about six hours later since we last reported from you, and we've had a chance to actually catch some shut eye on the sleeper train. And I don't know, what would be like the one adjective that you would pick to describe your sleep? Uncomfortable. I would say I was actually a little bit also let down by the comfortability of the bed itself. Like mine, for example, because it's like the backside of the couch there really isn't much of a mattress. I was surprised that it really sort of felt like I was sleeping on a futon. Yeah, that's how the upstairs bed felt as well. It was super, super firm. I usually sleep on my side. Yeah. And I rolled around probably 60 times. Yeah, I had to sleep on my side because I was sharing a bed with Jack. So that was also, yeah, it was so firm that I woke up multiple times too, simply because like my back was really hurting since I didn't really have a chance to lie flat or turn or do anything. I have to be honest and say that I was pleasantly surprised by the blankets. They were really nice. They're yeah. actually quite heavy, like a heavier duvet. And sometimes on trains, the temperature can be a huge issue. Like it's too warm and like I can never sleep when it's too warm, but I actually thought that our cabin stayed nice and cool all night long. And the temperature control that we actually had in our room worked really well. Um, but beyond that, I guess, you know, we're up at 5 a.m. I think mostly because I noticed that the train stopped around 5 a.m. for about an hour. It got really quiet because everything turned off. Yeah, and that was about 5 a.m. just south of Hanover. I think it might be where they load up on supplies, like things for breakfast and things like that, because I also, like, everything was quiet because the train wasn't moving but then you would hear like loud bangs of them loading things onto the car. <laughs> so fair warning for all of that. But on the other note, Jack is having a wonderful time. I didn't know how much he liked trains. He just looks out the window and points at everything and he's having an absolute blast. Clearly he slept better than us. Yeah, so if you're thinking about taking a train with a toddler, 10 out of 10 highly recommend for their experience because he can't run anywhere and he loves it and yeah i think the only thing we're waiting on now is the ambiguous breakfast time we were told it could come anywhere between 6 a.m and 7 30. um there isn't a spot where we can go and just grab a cup of coffee we have to just sort of wait um which is fine but jack has us up extra early this morning so hopefully yes. we'll be one of the first people on the list to get that cup of joe so oh i need coffee yeah a donkey shin or at least i try to be because i hope that mm, i'm not sure how i feel for her but she won't feel the same for me i've got this picture in my mind all right so end of journey bathroom update and i have to say <laughs> this train is still susceptible to the perils of long distance traveling just like an airplane the floor is wet <laughs> It's getting a little bit gross and there's toilet paper stuck to the floor. Um, but I think part of the problem actually is what we've learned is when you turn on the water, you have way more pressure than you really need, which means the water just kind of splashes out. Um, but also we've noticed that the paper towels are positioned perfectly right next to the sink. So when you turn on the water as you're washing your hands, you completely soak the paper towels that you then need to dry your hands off. Second thing, the toilet seat doesn't actually close all the way, so when you flush the toilet, some water comes out, which is a little bit gross. But if you're planning on coming into this bathroom, I highly suggest you wear shoes and not your socks, which is also a same rule of an airplane. Never go into a bathroom in an airplane with your socks on. Liebe Fahrgäste, wir werden in Kürze in Hamburg ankommen. Bitte stellen Sie Ihre Sachen zusammen. All right, so we have made it to Hamburg. 
Yeah, overall, I have to say that the entire experience of taking the Austrian Railway sleeper night jet train was a pretty great experience compared to the international travel that we've done with a long haul flight. Having your own cabin, even if it was smaller than what we had thought we had booked, was so nice with a toddler. Yeah, we are very happy to have booked such a cabin because Jack, um, as you've seen, can't sit still for more than 10 <laughs> minutes. So having him confined into his own space and having two cozy beds that are all to ourselves, uh, which Jack absolutely loved, um, was really, really nice. And again, we had no idea how much fun he would have watching things go by out the window and watching the different trains. It's, uh, I think for him, this was just a like life-changing experience. Yeah, so if you happen to be thinking about taking a sleeper train with a toddler, at least in our experience, we 10 out of 10, 100% recommend. It was just fantastic. And while I will say that maybe the beds weren't super comfortable if you're looking to get complete rest and relaxation, the swaying of the train back and forth and the noises were actually it's pretty really, soothing. Yeah, yeah. very, very yeah. nice. And I mean, the, the other option would have been really a couchette or a standard chair. So I think but, still right. this is far better than what we would have had with the other two options. Although that does bring up a great point because in our experience when we were booking our tickets, to be honest, it was really confusing. I don't recommend booking an Ubebe train ticket through Deutsche Bahn or no. through the Swiss Railway. You really need to go directly through Austrian Railways to book it. And even then, we had a lot of confusion about was this even really what we booked because it was different than the pictures that they advertised? Yeah, I like the showers that were supposed to have been on our train. There were no showers. So it's not really very clear yeah. what you're booking and there's really no way to filter out the rooms, so. No, and there clearly seems to be a big difference in what they offer from route to route. So For just sure. because this is what we had on the Zurich to Hamburg route, doesn't mean that that might not be different if you happen to be on a different route with Austrian Railways. So please keep that in mind. All right, so now that this is all over, you're probably wondering, would you do it again? Absolutely. Uh, yeah, absolutely, 100%. <laughs> so much fun, so much fun for Jack. Really nice place for us to stay. Uh, we look forward to booking another one, exploring more of Europe or somewhere else. Yeah, I think we're definitely going to keep sleeper trains on our future vacation plans because overall, this is just such a fun experience. And guys, if you enjoyed this video today, please make sure to hit that thumbs up button. And for more content from the Black Forest family, hit that subscribe button. So until next time. Ciao. Tschüss.